Women of Wisdom, and I am uh, connecting with you tonight to share a message that is in my mind and on my heart. In this time, we are all invoking consciousness. We are all seeking consciousness. The consciousness of the Christ. I believe this is the end of days as we knew them, to welcome a new life. We are all seeking the second coming of the Christ. I believe, and I learned this from Matthew Fox, that Christ will come in our awareness, in our consciousness. And something that has come to my consciousness lately is that I am being surveilled. And this is how I feel about that. If you want to watch me, that's good, but you're going to pay me. You're not going to invade me and watch me while I'm not aware. Thank you. So, voyeurism doesn't work for me. Therefore, I will be stepping back from social media. So I will stepping be stepping back from many things. And I just want to tell you the ways that you can reach me if you choose to reach me. I will be starting a podcast. It's going to be called The Gangsta Guru. An online course, 22 modules of Journey to the Self. I will be writing a book. I'm creating a board game that's called Journey to the Self, a game of enlightenment. I will be very, very busy, and I want to keep you abreast of what I am doing. I truly believe that we are in the last days of biblical proportions. In yoga, I learned to refer to it as Kali Yuga, the epic of the goddess Kali, who devours her own children, who lobs the heads off of demons, drinks their blood, and makes a necklace out of their skulls. So, how to deal with all of this? I am stepping back and using the following vehicles, and I suggest that you research them as well. Brand New Tube is where you will find my videos. Chats, MeWe, Signal is another place you will find me. You will find my videos on Library, BitChute, Brand New Tube. I think an old order is ending and the old matrix is being dismantled and that is the chaos that we're seeing. And I think a new world can begin and it begins with us. So therefore, I am stepping away from the 3D matrix and stepping into the 5D. Our new world is going to begin in darkness. All birth begins in darkness. If you plant a seed, the seed sprouts in the darkness under the earth. If you plant a baby, the baby sprouts in the darkness of the womb. It's dark in there. All life begins in the darkness, and so will our new life. When I was a little girl, my grandmother told me the story of a man, a priest, a padre, near her village. And she saw him say Mass, and it took three hours for him to say the Mass. And on his hands, he wore gloves with fingers cut out. And in the center of his palms, there was blood. She did not mention his name to me. So when I moved to Italy, I, of course, I went to my grandparents' village of Monte Sant'Angelo in Italy, in the Gargano. And lo and behold, 15 kilometers from her village is San Giovanni del Rotondo, the home of Padre Pio. Padre Pio was a Christian mystic, and he has advice for you about the last days. I will leave a link for you if you want to pursue it. There are instructions there for when the darkness will come. I'm a good Girl Scout. I like to be prepared. Okay, if it never happens, good. <laughs> but if it happens, I want to be ready. So I'm listening to San Pio. I'm listening to other um, oracles talk about what to expect. I'm reading the book of Revelation, and I'm paying attention. When we invoke consciousness, we have to be willing to be conscious. 
That means look at everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And sometimes the truth is ugly. The truth that we are facing now is ugly. It is demonic. And so I would ask you, if you're into doing your own research, which I suggest that you do, to turn off your TV and start doing your own research. I will leave the links below to everything that I have talked about. My email is all caps wowguru at protonmail.com. My website is https womenofwisdomguru.eu. I will leave links to my new YouTube channel on Brand New Tube and you can catch up with me there. It's been a lovely sojourn with you. My Facebook friends, my heart is with you, my prayers are with you, and I am saying sayonara to social media. God bless you and keep you in these times. Namaste. <laughs>